Hello again, everyone. I'm back with Jen Dayton for another segment of Five Minutes with Jen. Jen is the head of our collection development department here at the library and comes to us with some good book group reads every month or so. So let me turn things over to Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Marianne. I'm really excited about this month's stack. There's some really great reads in here that are coming your way this spring and summer. Um, the first is Charles Dubow, Girl in the Moonlight. Think of this as Wasp Brideshead Revisited. It tells the story of a young man growing up on Long Island who meets the next door family, who are a family of artists and who involve him into their world of art and the appreciation of all things beautiful. He falls madly in love with the daughter of the family who ends up leading him down a merry chase. Sometimes it's incredibly frustrating to read this book because you just want to hit his head with a hammer and tell him to get some sense. But it's a fun read. I think it's going to be in every thinking woman's speech bag this summer. Great. The Book of Speculation also takes place on Long Island. It's not a theme going forward, trust me. It tells the story of a young man. He's living in his family home on the edge of the Long Island Sound. He's a librarian, and like libraries everywhere, his is struggling. He loses his job due to budget cuts. And then he receives an interesting package in the mail one day telling the story of a traveling circus and he somehow links it with his own family's history to his mother who was a mermaid in a sideshow. Um, it, it, sounds, it sounds goofy and funny. It's really literary. It's very smart. It's a lot of fun. If you liked um, The Night Circus, you're probably really going to love this one. Ooh. Now we're coming up on three of my favorite reads so far of the year. The Wonder Garden by Lauren Akampora is interconnected short stories. And for those of you who are saying, I don't like a short story, you're going to love these short stories. This reads like a novel. Each story links to the next one to the next one. They're all set in fictionalized Old Cranberry. I'm here to let you in on a secret. Old Cranberry is really a combination of Darien, Wilton, and Westchester County. Lauren grew up here in town. She's going to be coming to the library to speak about her book. These are beautiful, beautiful short stories. They're quirky. There's something really kind of off with this town. We're all wild for this, and we think you will be too. Kate Atkinson's God in Ruins. Um, there's no secret about how much I love Kate Atkinson. She could write actuarial reports, and I would clear the reading decks and totally tuck in. Uh, this takes um, the life of Teddy. Ursula's beloved brother from Life After Life, one of my favorite books of all time, and examines his world and his life, not only through his eyes, but through the eyes of his loved ones. Um, you fall in love with Teddy all over again. If you didn't like Life After Life, don't let this throw you. It doesn't have the same conceit of do-overs as Life After Life. Um, this is a straight, linear telling of Teddy's life. Um, she's a beautiful, beautiful writer, and I can't recommend her highly enough. And now we come to something that um, is a debut, and I'm really excited for this. Kitchens of the Great Midwest. This is for fans of uh, the art of fielding. If you liked that Midwest sensibility, straightforward storytelling, this is a wonderful book for you. It tells the story of Ava, who is the palette of her generation. It begins at, at her birth and carries her through. It examines the Midwest world of Lufka fish, state fairs, peanut butter bars, venison hunting, which just sounds goofy and weird, but it really, really works. Um, I'm so excited for this debut. I think this is really going to be big. It's going to be something. Um, the author has an amazing voice. I just, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, so it's for your foodies. It's for your people who love great storytelling. Um, I'm over the moon about this one, and I think you will be too. That's it. Thank you so much, Jen. If you've seen anything that you think your book group would be particularly interested in, please let us know because we'll have these as books in a bag for uh, all of our book group members. Thank you. Thanks.